With roughly $900 million allocated for state-level frontline workers, Senator Gene Shaheen says the health of the country is riding on how the next COVID-19 relief package is divided. I think it's fair to say that in the CARES package, we probably didn't have as much help for first responders as we all would have liked. As cities and towns deal with absent revenue streams, most are predicting budget shortfalls. Many have anticipated scaling back services, jeopardizing plans to deal with a rebound in infections and outbreaks of COVID-19 in the fall. I'm afraid that in, a, in 6, 12, 18, 24 months, there's going to be less of us to do that and we're not, or we're not going to have enough to do it safely. Low density areas like Berlin are already making budgetary concessions. On Monday night, city officials nixed plans of buying a private ambulance and moving EMS into the firehouse. Which unfortunately um, sets us up for layoffs um, next year. In Hanover, Fire Chief Martin McMillan says they just received some PPE from the federal government that was ordered months ago. Going forward, he asked there be assistance in storing and distributing reserve equipment. Not having PPE that sits on a shelf for 12 years and then is outdated. And is there some way that we can rotate stocks to the hospitals? And although the latest relief package was narrowly approved by the House, it will not go into effect if the Senate votes against it.